Interconnected Fitness in Lurgan. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and for everyone who has subscribed so far. If you've been enjoying the classes, do hit that subscribe button underneath the video and join us on our journey together. This week is all about glutes. Now we are going to need a little bit of equipment. You can buy these on Amazon or eBay. They're just a set of resistance bands. They only cost a few pounds. You can get them in a variety of colours and the resistance is different on each one. They'll really help this week as we get stuck into the following exercises. Hi guys, how's it going? Here we go on glutes number two. And we're going to start off with skater lunge. Now remember, for a few of the moves later on, we are going to need our little bands, so hold on to that. Uh, the green one here is the easier one, uh, but over time, if you want to build up and go for a, a stronger band, um, then that's great. These are available on eBay and Amazon. Just grab one for yourself. So we'll use this in a wee second. Exercise one is just our standard skater lunge. We're going to go back with the right foot. Big step across the floor and then down on the left hand side, okay? So just try to travel as far as we can across the floor. As always with our exercise classes, when you're doing them with me, going to be 40 seconds on and we're doing 20, 15 seconds off, sorry. Not quite so long of a break. And we're trying to just travel across the floor as far as we can. That knee comes down, hip flares out the side and we're coming down as low as we can. Meant to look a little bit like a speed skier going around the ice rink. Okay, three, two, one. All right, exercise number two, we're gonna bring the feet nice and central. We're gonna do that little squat, the tip, tip toes move. Now, if you haven't had a go at our plyometrics series yet, this one's a, one of the fundamentals of that. So what we do is we come down into that squat position and then we squeeze right up onto the top of the tip toes. Try and do it with a little bit of a squeeze and we're trying to do it with a little bit of an explosion out of the floor. You come down, bum goes back, and up. I'll show you that one from the side. We come down and then right down to that right angle and the squeeze right up to the top. So we bounce and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. That's how it looks. 15 seconds to go. Then we're going to get into some of our moves with the bands. 10 seconds. Bounce. Squeeze. Three, two, and one. Good job. Let's get the little band on. And it's going just around the ankles, okay? So you pop it on. Just around the feet. Around right here. Okay. So first one's going to be our lateral band walk. We finished off with it last week. We're going to do two steps. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. That's how it looks. Trying to cross right over the floor. You see on that outward step there at the side? We just want to keep the foot off the floor, okay? So you come in, see how this foot doesn't touch, and we just keep working. 15 seconds to go. This is exercise number three of eight. And you guys look really well, keep going. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna take a big step back, and we're gonna split the feet. I wanna see those feet right outside the shoulders. So we're coming right out, nice wide stance. Obviously the stronger the resistance band, this one gets harder and harder. Now, this one I like to call penguin walk. It looks a little bit like a penguin. We're doing a little big step, big steps, and big steps back. Now, we're trying to do as little touch on the floor as we can. So as those feet come forwards and back, you're trying to keep them out nice and wide, always outside of the hips. If you can get them outside of the shoulders, even better. And then that little movement, just to keep the feet almost like you're tiptoeing across the floor, okay? So if you do it like this, it gets really easy because you're always in contact with the floor. What we're trying to do is to keep the feet up, nice and high. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Good job, okay? So a little bit of cardio for you coming up now. The next one we're gonna do is a jumping jack. I'm gonna keep that band on, okay? So we're jumping jack or like a star jump. You're coming up with the feet on the side. So what we're gonna do is come up, timer goes on, and we're coming up into that jumping jack. All right, 40 seconds all together. We're gonna make do a little modifier of the halfway to make it harder. So if you're struggling with this, I'll show you an easier move. So everyone keep your eye with this one. If you're struggling, you can do it like this, okay? Bringing the feet up, 
if you're struggling, okay? Now, back to the originals. 15 seconds to go. If you're finding this really easy, I want you to do this one instead, okay? Feet stay out wide. Nice and quick in those little taps. And five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So there's three variants there, an easier one and a harder one. You do whatever one you're comfortable with. Just let's keep those feet moving for the whole time. All right, next one coming up is squat to leg lift. This is exercise number six, and it looks something like this. Timer goes on, we come down into the squat, then we come up, bounce, bounce, squat, bounce, bounce, squat, bounce, bounce. Okay, so it's squat, then that foot drives up to the side, other side, and back into the squat. Drive, drive, squat, drive, drive. Squat. Two really tricky ones come up to finish. I think they're some of the hardest moves we've done so far. But for round number two, you guys are doing really well. Try to keep it up with me. Stay in the game. Five to go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, now that little squat move that we were doing before, just in the same. This one we're going to come down and then we're going to put the little shuffle in from side to side, okay? So for five seconds, you just grab a breath. And then here we go. So we come down into the squat, and then we're just going to try and stay low and make the move. One, two, three, four. That's how it looks. So we stay in the squat, bum goes back. I'll show you this one from the side. And we stay in the squat, bum stays nice and low, and we come back. And the lower you get, the harder that one's going to be, okay? And we come back to the front for you. So, we've got about 10 seconds to go. If you think you can put two little moves in, that's even better, okay? Keep them down as low as we can. Keep your little knees tucked in behind the toes. And three, two, and one. Okay, one more to go. And this one is called our surfer squat. Now, we're gonna bring the feet out, nice and wide. This time, we're gonna try and cover about a meter of the floor, so the feet come right outside the stance, outside the shoulders again. We flare the toes out wide, and as we go down, bring the hands up, and the knees come out to the side this time. So the knees go out over the toes, down into that surfer squat. We come up, and down. Up, and down. Up, and down. That's meant to look a little bit like a surfer on a surfboard at that, at that lower point. Nice right angles here, feet going out wide, and the, trying to come down into that right angle position. And three, two, and one. That's class number two, guys. Brilliant work today. Let's keep going.